Antoine Fuqua and Denzel Washington collaborate once again for the final installment of the Equalizer trilogy. This film takes the franchise's intense action and captivating vigilante to a new location. In Equalizer 3, Robert McCall finds himself in a critical condition after being shot in the back during a secret mission in Sicily. However, he is saved by a local doctor named Enzo and decides to stay in a small Sicilian village to recover. During his time there, Robert develops a strong attachment to the village and its residents, making him contemplate whether he can find peace in this new environment. Unfortunately, Robert is unable to avoid getting involved in a tense situation that arises when a local crime boss named Vincent terrorizes the town. Determined to protect the people he has grown to care for, Robert takes on Vincent's drug empire. In Equalizer 3, Robert faces one of his most formidable adversaries yet, all while grappling with his own personal struggles. This final installment showcases Robert's humanity as he confronts the consequences of his actions and strives to safeguard his newfound community. Additionally, audiences can expect plenty of intense action that will leave them on edge. As Equalizer 3 is likely to be Washington's final appearance in this franchise, let's explore the film's ending and discover where Robert's journey concludes. In an attempt to dismantle Vincent's empire, Robert seeks assistance from a CIA agent named Emma. Unfortunately, Vincent's corrupt influence is far-reaching, and Emma ends up in the hospital. This forces Robert to take matters into his own hands. Are you warning me? No, I am preparing myself. After killing Vincent's brother Marco, Vincent becomes enraged with Robert and seeks revenge in the village. He threatens to harm the locals unless Robert surrenders, prompting Robert to confront him. Despite being outnumbered, Robert is supported by the villagers who stand against Vincent. Enzo shoots at Vincent while others record the situation on their phones. Vincent, not wanting his actions to be exposed, declares that the conflict with Robert is not over, and Robert agrees, initiating a brutal final showdown. The tension between Vincent and Robert escalates to the point where a final confrontation becomes inevitable. Vincent and his men devise a plan, but Robert strikes first. He infiltrates Vincent's mansion and systematically eliminates each of Vincent's guards without mercy. Eventually, Robert kills all of Vincent's men, leaving Vincent alone. After restraining Vincent, Robert forces him to consume his own drugs. With Vincent's time running out, Robert decides to release him and allows him to flee. However, Robert remains a constant presence, haunting Vincent every step of the way. Meanwhile, the villagers participate in a religious procession through the streets, which could be interpreted as a plea for forgiveness for Robert's actions or as a gesture of gratitude to God for bringing Robert to them. Regardless, Robert continues to pursue Vincent until he is left nearly lifeless on the streets. Shortly after abandoning Vincent to his fate, Emma receives recognition for her role in dismantling Vincent's drug operation. The corrupt empire has finally been dismantled, making the streets a little safer. Robert visits Emma and explains why he got involved in this situation. It turns out that Robert was in Sicily on a personal mission to recover stolen pension money for a man he met while driving for Lyft. He never intended to get involved in something bigger or encounter anything more sinister than petty thieves. However, this experience has given him a deeper sense of purpose and brought him some peace. There is still one unanswered question, though. I'm just having my tea, so please don't play games with me. Robert specifically asked Emma to help with this case because she is the daughter of his former colleague, Susan Plummer. Robert knew he could trust Emma, and boosting her career is a way for him to support Susan's family even after her death. Later, Emma returns the pension money to the man Robert mentioned. Meanwhile, Robert finds solace in the community that has given him purpose, leaving his old life behind. Throughout the Equalizer franchise, Robert has been a vengeful force, but in this third film, his story is about his personal journey towards a more peaceful life. Despite still being an unmatched fighter and ruthless killer, he is brought back to reality when he is unexpectedly shot. This is a rare moment where Robert is caught off guard and almost loses his life, which shocks him to the point of contemplating suicide. However, once Enzo begins to heal him and brings him to his small village, 
Robert gains much needed clarity and purpose. The kindness he witnesses in this town has a profound impact on him. For the first time in a long time, he experiences peace and acceptance, making him feel like he truly belongs. Thanks to these people, I am starting to understand what real peace means. However, he still worries about reverting to his old ways when Vincent arrives. Unusually, Robert initially steps aside to avoid disrupting this idyllic paradise. There is an internal conflict within Robert that makes him question his role in this community and whether he can act without being perceived as violent like Vincent. Eventually, Robert realizes that taking action is better than standing by while the people he cares about suffer. His actions ultimately establish him as a protector. Despite having to resort to force, Robert is still embraced by the community. When Enzo first takes Robert under his care, he asks if Robert is a good or bad man. Robert responds that he doesn't know, and although this answer may frighten some, it actually reassures Enzo. In a later conversation, Enzo explains that Robert's uncertainty about his own goodness actually proves that he is good. Enzo believes that truly good men don't simply declare their goodness, their actions speak louder. This reflects a deeper aspect of Robert's character development throughout the series. As a vigilante, Robert has always walked the line between good and evil. Despite having good intentions, he often shows no mercy to his enemies, resulting in brutally violent and bloody kills. When faced with the question of good or bad, Robert's response is fitting, especially considering his personal crisis at the time. Throughout the movie, Robert has always existed in a moral gray area, but when directly confronted with the question, viewers gain a deeper understanding of his personal morality. By the end of the film, Robert is given a fresh start, allowing him to leave his troubled past behind and move forward as a better person. The Equalizer 3 offers a personal exploration of Robert's perspective on his own morality and lifestyle, while also highlighting the power of community. Prior to arriving in the town, Robert was mostly a loner, seeking to enforce his own version of justice on wrongdoers. However, as he gets to know the people in the town, he witnesses genuine care and a sense of community that he hasn't experienced in a long time. Even when faced with a terrible act committed by Vincent, the townspeople come together to support one another. Robert, who has been immersed in a dark and violent world for so long, rediscovers the possibility of living in a peaceful place. This demonstrates the profound impact of being part of a positive-minded community and how it can genuinely transform an individual. The positive energy of the people in the town greatly influences Robert, leading him to put himself in harm's way to protect them. The Equalizer 3 serves as a reminder of the transformative power of a strong sense of community and togetherness, capable of warming even the coldest of hearts. The film highlights the transformation of individuals from being passive observers to actively participating in creating change within their community. When Robert arrives in the town, he notices that the people, although kind and genuine towards each other, live in fear of Vincent and his gang. Vincent's violent tactics, especially his public and gruesome killings, intimidate and control the townspeople. Even when one of their own is physically attacked, they only provide assistance in healing, without taking further action. Despite having numerical advantage over Vincent and his crew, the community is overpowered by their superior firepower and brutality. However, Robert's presence in the community not only inspires him to have a different perspective on life but also motivates the townspeople. When Robert is willing to sacrifice himself to protect the townspeople from Vincent, Enzo steps in to ensure Robert's safety, and the other civilians record Vincent's actions on their phones. This moment signifies a shift from being bystanders to actively working together. Both Fuqua and Washington have confirmed that The Equalizer 3 will be the final installment in the trilogy. In an interview with Looper, Fuqua expressed his sadness about leaving the franchise, comparing it to a breakup. He mentioned watching the film on the big screen and realizing that he had to say goodbye to Robert McCall, which he found difficult. However, he acknowledged that all things come to an end. In an interview with Empire, Washington shared similar mixed feelings about bidding farewell to McCall. He hinted at a satisfying ending for the character, mentioning that he meets someone special and finds peace in a lovely town. While this may be the end for Robert McCall, 
there is potential for someone else to direct a new entry or a spin-off focusing on Emma, as her story seems to be just beginning. However, it is unlikely that Robert McCall will appear on the big screen again anytime soon, at least with Washington in the role. There has been some discussion about a potential prequel, though. In an interview with NME, Fuqua expressed interest in a prequel film where Washington would be digitally de-aged. He also mentioned considering the use of de-aging technology in The Equalizer 3 and having conversations with franchise writer Richard Wink about it. Fuqua also mentioned the possibility of other actors, such as Michael B. Jordan or John David Washington, playing a younger version of Robert McCall. However, there are currently no prequels in production, but the possibility remains open. Fuqua has shown willingness to return for a prequel, so it may happen in the future.